Welcome everyone back to the Brickitech Studio and welcome us back to the Brickitech Studio. Completely new sentence that uh, definitely shouldn't fit in the English language, but yeah, it's been a while. Some of you guys are probably wondering what the heck happened to Brickitech. Is the channel dead? Are they dead? Thankfully, no. We were gone for two weeks doing a UK vacation, which was absolutely amazing. In fact, if you're subscribed to my vlog channel, you can watch all those vlogs as they play out. I'm very far behind. I'm still in Scotland at the moment, if you're watching this the day it comes out. But we're actually back here in Pennsylvania into the studio, and I want to share some things that we bought in our time away in the UK, because you know we couldn't go two weeks without buying some Lego stuff. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, let's enjoy some Lego together. It's uh, not looking nearly as impressive as I thought it was going to be, but this is pretty much everything that we bought, a little overview here. And we'll just jump into this with our haul from the Edinburgh Lego store. We got the minifigs, which are once back again at the Lego store, which is so exciting. Try to open this box, which is a hardest challenge. Hey, it's a Bridgela. It's a brick tech video. <laughs> it didn't take long for us to be back. We DJ. That's DJ? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got um, Crazy Pirate Dude with red Redding Hood helmet on. Very interesting. And get his accessory. We did lose one accessory, which yeah, is a pickaxe. Yeah, it's glowing dark pickaxe. Poor me. Glow in the dark pickaxe completely gone. Let's go, dude. So we got a yeah. surfer pirate. Uh, yeah. I really can't explain anything beyond that. Mm -hmm. Who's the last guy that we have here? We got me. That definitely looks like a Clark man in his UK uniform. Mm hmm. <laughs> the pink hat. You guys are going to find this very hard to believe, but I don't have the boxes for the next few things that we're going to show you. I, I jettisoned them and it hurt my soul, but we got the little bathtub dude. This, in my opinion, is the best Lego stunts racer that they've come out with yet, simply for the fact that he's in a bathtub. <laughs> Does it get any better, Clark, man? No. Stunts guy with his hairpiece on. Rubber ducky. <laughs> get out of the way, people. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I hit my hand. Okay, he's gone. Ah! <laughs> There's a mock that Clark Man made while we were gone, too. It's a dragon zord. You can probably tell. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he's grabbing on by one hand. Next to that, we have a pick-a-brick cup that they were so nice enough to tape shut for me because that would have been all over our suitcase. We've got lots of interesting and fun pieces. Do you mind if I just dump this out, Clark Man? It's mm -hmm. probably the easiest thing to do. I'm going to try to move this out of the way. This is Clark's uh. Mandalorian mock they made, which we'll be showing here in a second. But until then, let's look at our goodies that we got. Lots of colorful pieces, which I always try to get things that you can't just normally find, like uh, two by four bricks that somehow made their way in here. Yeah. <laughs> like that, like that. Yeah. Any kind of like uh -huh. slopes and tiles and windshields. I particularly like this color right here. I don't know if it shows up well on camera, but it's kind of like the color of a uh, of yellow highlighter. And uh, it's, it's just kind of crazy, and I've never seen it before. I've never built any sets with that color. Give all you peace nerds a little flyover, but that is our pick-a-brick cup haul. Small cup, of course. Now that I've made a ginormous mess, I'm going to turn this back over to Clark Man so he can show you guys his Mandalorian mock that he made. This is actually a set that we got on sale at Sainsbury's, or Burry's, which is a grocery store in the UK, and it was on sale, so perfect. Mm -hmm. And we got a gigantic jetpack. I kept, like, the whole back of the ship built, and then I just changed the front up. And also, it's a spaceship, which I will show to you right, right here. We're going to take his helmet off. Wow! And then we're going to put his helmet right there. Put the kickstand up, and up, up, and away! And it can also do something else. It does a whole bunch of things. He has a gigantic jetpack on his back. Um, somebody took the opposite of a shrink ray in my jetpack. Help! Help! For reference, this came from Lego Star Wars set 75321. It's the Razor Crest. So, kind of similar, but better because Clark Man made it. Mm -hmm. Takes us now to the last part of our haul. This came from a toy store called Hamley's in London, and it was an incredible place. I can't wait to share the vlog with you guys, but until then, here's a little sneak peek as to what we got, starting with these Mario character packs. These are blind boxes now, not even bags. They're in a box, and we had no idea who we're going to get, but I think we did pretty well. I don't know what the orange guy's name is, though. He is a Tanuki. I remember it from our Mario games we used to play. I remember those guys, and they're called Tanukis. If we're wrong on this, they're going to let us know. 
Go easy on us, guys. The but that was the first one we got, and Clark Man called it. He said we were going to get that one, and that's what we got. And then later, I went back to actually do an exchange on something, and I thought, hey, why don't we grab another one? And uh, we got we got Nabbit. Mm, He's a little indestructible cheater is what he is, Mr. Nabbit, who Clark likes to play as, and I discourage it. But you know how kids are. Kids be crazy. Speaking of crazy, this is a very recent release, and I felt like it would be the perfect souvenir to take away from the UK, just because it's James Bond. Uh, but if you guys see the price tag there, you're going to kill me. Not only was this over MSRP, you're thinking like, oh, $26, not bad. That's pounds! So that's actually like $30 I paid for this, but it was the experience, it was being in the store. Man, I can't wait to show you guys the video on it. They're, they had a whole s story of Lego there, uh, which was good because the London Lego store is close to renovations at the time we were there, so we didn't get to go there. Uh, but I thought I would snag this, and I built this up one evening while I was just having some downtime, and the car is fantastic. I actually skipped out on the big DB5, the big creator one, which is kind of shocking for me because I love those cars, but that one just wasn't interesting. But I, I just think this car looks great. I love the printed headlights that they have on it. Printed taillights too, you'd be shocked. Not many stickers, honestly, it wasn't too bad. You do have James Bond sitting inside there. Hopefully you can see him there. Uh, my favorite part of this, if I can show it to you, if I take the back of this off a little bit, I wanna show you my favorite building technique that came from this. And it was right here. You guys see those uh, those little brown pieces that stick out there and you see this? Just sliding those together feels so darn satisfying. Hopefully you can see it. But yeah, I just I just really love the way this car went together. It felt so smooth and I was talking to the guys in my Discord and they were they were thinking the same thing as well. So we got ourselves another Speed Champions set for the Speed Champions collection. I love these cars. They're just so darn good, especially when they don't have any stickers like this one. So got that and is that it, Clark Man? Is that the entirety of our of our haul? That's everything that we picked out of the UK. Probably could have done a lot more damage than that, but our our suitcases were full of uh, whiskey Cadbury. and Cadbury. Yeah, we oh. bought a whole bunch of chocolate. You guys, they know they know how much we love minifingers. So we bought those. Mom got some of like the Cadbury Swiss rolls. I think they're called Three mini rolls. Three packs of Kit Kat. Three packs of Kit Kat Chunky, which to me are like the best Kit Kats. Yeah. And you're you guys in the UK. I'm going to talk to you specifically here. Your chocolate. It's way better than anything we have here in the United States, which is like, it, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really is. Uh, but this wasn't. This was a nice little score. And um, I'm happy to have done that. We got to stop and shop for a Lego on three different occasions in two weeks. And it all made it back safely, just like we did as well. And we're also, should I tell them, Clark? Mm -hmm. Going back to daily content here on this channel. So if you survived the two-week hiatus that we were gone, and you're like, I'm just going to stay subscribed in case their dead channel ever comes back. We're back, and uh, I actually thought of a new intro for us to do, and I've got big plans on like uh, how I want to do stuff. It's it's going to be amazing. So the Brick Tech Renaissance is actually happening, and uh, I'm happy that you're here to share it with us. So thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day. There you go. See you guys in the next video. Tomorrow, we'll be back. Again, with a Lego yeah. collecting journey. Every darn day. Every day. Every darn day. Every darn day. You better be here. Okay, we're going. We're really going now. Watch these videos. See you guys.